Warning, by the end of this video, you will be a blockchain master. As a grandmaster myself, I'm here to guide you through this topic. A blockchain is a database shared across a network of computers. Once the database records information, it can't be changed. The network constantly checks to ensure all the copies of the database are the same. Here's how information adds to a blockchain. Let's say Pinky pays two of his coins to Mr. Green for providing a service. The computers in the network, called nodes, check the details of this exchange to make sure it's valid. Once validated, the transaction joins a block. Each block contains a unique code called a hash. It also includes the hash of the previous block. The new block connects and forms the following link of the chain. OK, so that was a lot. Here's a short version. A blockchain is a ledger of information that transfers through the internet waves. This ledger is maintained and secured by a decentralized network of computers. With our newly found expertise, let's talk about blockchain's importance. Humans are a networked species. Networks allow us to cooperate, and they allocate the fruits of our cooperation. Overlapping networks create and organize our society. Physical, digital, and mental roads connecting us all. A corporation is a network. Money is a network. Religion is a network. These networks require rules so those in power can enforce against cheaters. As more people join a network, it will grow and provide more value to its participants. Leading networks tend to become the only network. This dynamic is called a network effect. The rulers of these networks become the most influential people in society. Rules are closed to outsiders and based on power. Corporations run many, like the social networks. The elites run banking networks, and the mob controls the internet. The 20th century created a new kind of network, markets. Participants of markets make decisions guided by the price signals produced by the forces of supply and demand. A commitment of money determines merit in markets. A unit of account, or monetary unit, determines the price of goods and services. Without this commitment to money, the market participants could not agree upon a single pricing method. The market networks are titans. The stock markets, the commodities markets, the money markets. A market can make or break a nation. For example, Venezuela, a significant exporter of oil, depends on the oil market. When there was a collapse in oil prices, the Venezuelan economy crashed, and their currency, the Bolivar, hyperinflated. Thousands of market networks make our society. These networks create the greater whole of our economy. Market networks only work with a tradable form of money. Otherwise, they're just mob networks. Unfortunately, the applications of these market networks have been limited. Until now. Blockchain is a new innovation that allows merit-based participants to govern without a ruler and money. A blockchain has one magical property. It can transfer value over an open communications channel. They are tamper-proof, decentralized voting systems. The meritorious participants are those who work to advance the network. Society gives you money for giving society what it wants, whereas blockchains give you coins for giving the network what it wants. It's important to note that blockchains pay in their specific coin, not the financial market standard money. Not relying on traditional money gives the network freedom from the centralization of today's markets. The value of today's government-backed currencies comes from people's trust in its retention of buying power. With central banks printing money and debasing a currency's value, people look for other monetary opportunities with similar utility. Blockchain provides this opportunity. If properly decentralized, the coin's supply issuance will remain transparent and unchanged. Participants know the actions of a centralized party will not debase their purchasing power. Put simply, blockchains replace trust with math. A blockchain's coin tracks the work done in the network. Different blockchains demand different work. For example, Bitcoin pays for securing the ledger, while Ethereum pays for executing and verifying computation. Thus, blockchains combine the openness of the internet with the merit of markets. Merit can mean security, computation, prediction, storage, distribution, and content to a blockchain. 
blockchains port the market model into places where it couldn't go before. Open blockchains and merit-based markets can replace networks previously run by kings, corporations, and mobs. It's nonsensical to have a blockchain without a coin, just like it's nonsensical to have a market without money. Likewise, to have a blockchain controlled by a centralized party is foolish. Blockchains give us new ways to govern networks. Blockchain-based market networks will replace existing networks, spreading slowly, then suddenly. Thank you, Satoshi Nakamoto, the anonymous creator of Bitcoin, and to all the shoulders upon which Satoshi stands. To understand how blockchains are secured, click on our end screen, covering the proof-of-work algorithm. Ideas from Naval Ravikant inspired this video. You can find links to his work in the description.